It is very wonderful to have your company this morning. Now, when Christmas lunch is served across the country, the last people will want is a side of family booth. So from politics to COVID-19 vaccines, there's certainly a lot of hot topics that could really spark a family food fight. Oh, it's going to be tasty this year. Oh, yeah, the dad jokes aren't the only thing uh, that uh, don't go down well at Christmas. So here to tell us how to keep the Christmas peace is our relationship expert, Melissa Ferrari. Good morning to you, Melissa. Thank you Good for morning. joining us. Thank you. COVID-19, we thought it was gone, but it's not. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. What do we need to keep in mind when attending family events this Christmas? Well, I think that this Christmas, particularly with the amount of stress that we've all been under for the last two years with the coronavirus, it's really important to remember when stress goes up, our ability to communicate well goes down. And so we start to misread, we can misinterpret, we can misunderstand maybe a comment that's made. So my biggest advice is to really be aware that we are all stressed at the moment. It's been a difficult time. And just be aware that communication is probably going to be difficult for many because when we're stressed, we don't communicate optimally. All right, so let's say you're having, you're hosting and you've got people over. How can you check someone's vaccine status without them freaking out? Well, this is, this is a tough one, of course, but, you know, it is really about personal responsibility. Everybody has reasons for why they want to know whether someone is vaccinated or not. If it's just because you're curious, well, I think that that's probably something that you should leave alone. But it, if it is because you're trying to protect somebody that, you know, the elderly or, or you're in a position where someone is compromised, I think being honest and just asking really is the only way because, you know, personal responsibility is important and, you you know, I, th I think that we do have a right to ask, you know, what what is happening with someone's vaccination, particularly if there are any kind of vulnerabilities where, where it could get people into trouble. So it's a tough one, but I think to ask honestly, be clear in your communication and um, just stay friendly in your presence with that person. Uh -huh. keep, keep the eyes wide, smile on your face, oh, yeah. don't get too serious about it. What if it does turn into an argument, though, or, or a debate? How do you get out of that? I don't want to. I think, I, think, I think if you are a good hostess, you know, change the subject if you can. Like, change it to something else if you see things that are getting, are getting a bit heated or, or, you know, like, do some kind of diversion to take things away. You know, people are going to be talking about it. It's going to be the topic of conversation. So many relationships have been ruptured. There's been more breakups. It's been a very, very problematic time. So I don't think you're going to get away from the subject coming up. But if things do get heated, you know, keeping in mind, everybody, that it's super, super tough and um, I know I sit in a chair where I observe this in families and with parents and couples every day and it has certainly been a very, very tough time. It really has. It's really broken up a lot of families too. So you got some special tips for us to ensure a stress-free Christmas. Take us through them and I'll write them all down. Okay. So <laughs> if you're a couple, it's important to have each other's back on this, you know. If you be honest and you say, look, really, there's this, an auntie of yours that I, I feel particularly uncomfortable around. Yeah. Tell your partner so that your partner can know to support you, not abandon you and leave you there um, feeling uncomfortable. It might be a code word. What's a good that, code word? Do you mean like, like what's a good code word? Well, I, for, for me, it's kind of like I just pull on my partner's pants and say, <laughs> you know, let's go. Let's just oh. time to go. Just do something that you can let them know. People. You can... You <laughs> You can use words whatever you like. Yeah, of course. You can use whatever, you know. You could do whatever words like, that like promote... Just a word, like mistletoe. Just exactly, have a word mistletoe. Ready to go. And yeah. don't start kissing. Get out of there. OK, cool. Okay, so, <laughs> it depends so, on who you're sitting with. That's really yeah. It does. A lot of things are going to depend on who you are sitting with <laughs> this Christmas. So if you can, be there with family that you, you still have those good connections with. There's been a lot of rupture. And mm. so being with those people that you feel good with that are going to help lift your spirit, it may be a day to let, you know, some, some situations go because, unfortunately, you know, I, I don't like to sound 
sound like a person with bad news, but it has been really tough, and I know I've said it a few times now, but please, um, it's an important time to be really mindful of each other because it's been a really, really stressful time mm. and families have been affected. Yeah, many families have spent many, many months apart and, and lots of people didn't weren't able to get together last Christmas. Mm. So why is it important for them to actually relax and enjoy the family time this year? <sighs> Well, I think it's to be able to, to remember that w connection is, is key. And, it, and so being together and connecting in that mindful, heartfelt way is going to help bring the stress down a whole lot. So really going into Christmas, particularly Christmas Day, with that spirit of today, you know, I do want to be able to connect. We're, we're able to be here because for those that, that are vaccinated and, and, and all of that is OK, it's, it's a time to start to learn to reconnect. Many people have, have started to hibernate and are feeling quite lonely and disconnected. Sure. So this is this is an important time, particularly if you know someone's had a difficult time mm. as well. Invite them to your place or go to their place. Good on you, Melissa. Someone's uh, tugging on my leg, Melissa. We have to go. OK, <laughs> wonderful. Good. Get out of here. Not me. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, All Melissa. Right. Good to see you. Merry Christmas to you.